we are heavy promoters of the right to free expression and therefore we are very careful when it comes to questions of regulating people's right to free expression. Uh, thankfully last year, as many of you will recall, we had the opportunity to sign off a national action plan to combat misinformation and disinformation. And we had all the stakeholders from the media practitioners, um, ourselves, uh, policy makers, civil society groups, political parties, etc. So that national action plan uh, is what we are hoping to implement to deal with misinformation and disinformation in the year 2024. It talks a lot about media literacy, where we have to educate the public heavily uh, on how to use media tools. It talks a lot about uh, fact-checking, and in particular you, our colleagues in the media, have to invest in fact-checking in your newsrooms. So that it's not just that because maybe I as a politician said something, then you report it, or because my opponent said something, then you report it. But how are you fact-checking and being able to tell the public whether or not that uh, these you know, align with the facts? And then it also talks about where in the extreme cases law enforcement has to come in, uh, the necessary law enforcement as exists now, the necessary laws that exist now must be uh, enforced. And those are some of the uh, measures that we are hoping to, to deal with the situation in 2024.